What's up guys? Today we have uh, 2023 Subaru Crosstrek. It's our new key. Package for it around here somewhere. I'll show you that after. Customer key looks the same. There's a few things we can do here to make sure we got the correct key. First thing I did was stick both keys in my key tool plus and again I'm only using this for visibility sake and of course you can't see it they both come up as 8a so I'm certain the chip is right uh, the remote uh, a few different listings gray pod meaning if we pop this back cover off like we were going to change the battery in the remote the actual keyless entry portion the case is gray I opened up this one that case is gray, so we're good to go. Uh, I just learned something here. Now, this could be because it's a 2023. Um, I, and what, what I'm basically doing here is I want to program the remote first. If I can't get the remote programmed, I'm not moving on. I got to figure out, you know, maybe I got the wrong one or the wrong programmer or whatever. So, first step one program remote. I went into manual selection, tried a bunch of different cars that I thought matched this car up, and only, the tool only goes up to 2021. And each time I did it, it failed. So I just learned this. Go into system selection. And essentially sometimes we're obviously going to go, oh, that's interesting that they list keyless system. I went into remote system. Sometimes you got to do trial and error. I just learned that this 2023 Crosstrek remote system type 1. Learning. It's going to tell us to remove the key. I did hit okay tells us to press the lock button then unlock you're gonna hear a chime that's one we're gonna do it again with the customer key hear the chime that's it we're good new key other key done so I usually do my Key cutting separate. I think I do have one on this, but I'm just gonna keep this brief. Uh, I just decoded it was a Toy 43R. Uh, I think it's a B110. I'm gonna do a test key on this. Obviously, I don't want to uh, commit to the good key unless I know I got it right, so I'll be right back. So, test key worked fine. I just tested it in both the uh, door and the ignition, worked fine. Thing you got to watch out for on this, uh, I mentioned it was a Toy 43R. So the Toy 43 will look like really, really similar. Similar, you'll think that it's the same, but obviously the way to tell is to look at it head-on like that, compare it to the to the factory key. Um, it's kind of reversed. So once it's done, I'll be back at the car. So I'm back at the car. New cut key works perfectly. Uh, I'm kind of torn on what I should do here, and I know the. MO system hasn't changed on these so let's just go in this to be clear is where the um, remote programming failed and I had to go to that different place but let's try here to program the key see if we can communicate with the car it is I'm gonna assume we'll be fine here I'm sure that that is from me Putting in the uh, unprogrammed key to test it. We'll erase it. That wasn't there before. Uh, let's do add key guided. We do. It is. Please use the keys and not learn to learn. Insert the key. Turn the ignition on. I did. This is an Autel flaw. Um, I, this happens every time. I knew there were only three keys programmed to this car before I started. So it says it failed. This is good to know because this will make you feel like you did it wrong. And, and if you don't back out and go back in, right, it still says three, that's what it said before, but what, what if we back out and go back in? I 
imagine that four keys learned so our new key keyless functions work starts the car just fine so uh, when it says failed don't freak out we are at the maximum now so if we wanted to do another key we'd have to do something differently but uh, no need to here so uh, that's it 2023 Crosstrek very happy that this thing hasn't changed uh, except for the remote programming this thing was barely challenging thanks for watching guys